In this Fusion 360 video, we'll take a look at how to create a T-spline form based on a calibrated reference image. With the freeform capabilities that come along with sculpting in Fusion 360, this is a really common workflow. So let's get started by creating a blank design by navigating to the File menu and selecting New Design. And we'll start by inserting our canvas. Under Insert, we'll select Attach Canvas, and we'll select this face. In the dialog window, we'll select our image, this utility knife, and we'll click Open. And you'll see this rotated 90 degrees, so I'll use this rotate manipulator to position it properly. I'll lock it in at 90. I'll scale it up just so it's a bit easier to see using this scale manipulator. And next, I'll drop the opacity down. I'll drop it down to 85, and I'll check the box for display through so that when we're sculpting our T-spline form, we can always see the canvas. I'll click OK. And you'll see that in the browser, we now have our canvas in the canvas folder. I can right click on our canvas and select Calibrate. And I'll look at our canvas from the right hand side by clicking on the view cube. And I'll click two points to calibrate our image. With my two points selected, I'll enter in the value, in this case it's 180 millimeters, and I hit enter, and my image is calibrated properly. Next, I'll create a form, and specifically we'll create a box. I'll place my box on this plane right here, place its center point on the origin, and draw it its 2D profile. I'll set the length equal to 175 millimeters, its width equal to 35 millimeters, and its height equal to 25 millimeters. As you can see, there's more detail running around the length of the knife, so I need to add more faces in this direction. In this case, I'll set the length faces from 2 to 5, and now we have more faces going that way. Lastly, I know that my utility knife needs to be symmetrical, so under Symmetry, I'll change it from None to Mirror, and I'll apply height symmetry. This green line now indicates the symmetry that exists in my T-spline form. Our T-spline primitive is now in place, but we need to edit its geometry to better match our reference picture. To do this, I'll start the Edit Form tool, and I'll start by window selecting these faces right here. To do this, I'll click and hold, and drag left to right to draw a window around these faces. I can use the planar manipulator to move these up to match the top profile. And I'll window select the bottom face and rotate it and position it properly. Using the same method, I can freehand manipulate my form until it's in place. I can move individual faces or edges, whatever I want. So we'll manipulate this form until we roughly approximate the reference image behind it. By using the planar manipulator and the single rotate manipulator, I know that I'm changing my geometry in a plane, but I'm not changing it in and out of the screen. In doing this, I'm able to keep a really nice and consistent form while just worrying about the directions that I need to worry about. For finer details, I'll select individual edges, and I'll pull this down and our form is really starting to take shape. To add more detail, we need to insert an edge into our T-spline form. Holding Shift, I'll select these two edges, and under Modify, I'll choose Insert Edge. Here I'll position the edge to the right-hand side, right about in the middle, so negative 0.5. I'll click OK, and our edge will be inserted. I'll do the same thing to add an additional edge in the back down here. Under Modify, I'll choose Insert Edge, and I'll drag it to the right about in the middle, negative 0.5. I could enter it into the dialog window if I want, and I'll click OK. Next, using the Edit Form tool and the same planar manipulator and rotate manipulators, I'll position my geometry closely match the reference image behind it. As you can see, my form has changed a little bit, so I need to do some pressing and pulling to get it into place and you can spend as much or as little time as you want on this. 
I'm going to work my way around the form, grabbing edges and making sure that it lines up with my reference image. If it's not perfect, that's okay. I'm going to work my way around grabbing edges and moving them until I match the reference image behind it. To add really precise detail, we're actually going to use a new command, the insert point command. Under modify, I'll choose insert point. I'll click once, and when I click again at this bottom edge at the midpoint, I create an edge from midpoint to midpoint. I'll click OK and my edge is inserted. I'll do the same back here to add some detail to the back of the utility knife. Again, with my new geometry, I'll go back to edit form and press and pull on my surface until I get the result that I want. I can also view my utility knife from any view I want to sculpt in any details I want along the side. There you have it. That's how you sculpt a T-spline form based on a reference image in Fusion 360.